For Baldur's Gate 3, we're now beginning Act 2. It's like having a brand new arc in your D&D campaign. You've all worked together for a long time, and now you know how to really get into combat without having to really ask too many questions. Because of that, we're also going to move up in difficulty. We've been at Balanced, but now we're going to be a Tactician. Everything is going to be a lot more punishing and challenging too, but that's okay. We're level 7, we're getting close to level 8, we're not too far away from that. We've got our War Cleric and Shadowheart, Gale is a Divination Wizard, Karlak over here is a Wildheart Barbarian, and naturally Edrahil is a Vengeance Paladin. So with that said, let's go begin to the Shadow Cursed Lands. Need to leave everything behind, I know they're all happy about it. You are about to progress your adventure. Make sure to tie up any loose ends before advancing. Oh, we did. We made sure to do so. I was wondering how grim it could be here. Oh, it's really bad for sure. Look at that. That's no ordinary darkness. It feels powerful and familiar. Stay on your guard. We've got to. Oh, there's a goblin. I know what to do here. <sighs> Are you the true soul? Keep in mind, Andrew wiped out the entire goblin camp. No goblin survivors at all. I mean, he's an Oath of Vengeance paladin, and he doesn't like goblins, not even a little bit. Of course, there are times where he'll delay killing one in order to find out where the rest are at. So, let's find out. Are you going to guide me? Who wants to know? I'll take that as a yes. Listen up. Grab a torch, stay out of the dark, and move fast. The shadows have eyes. Go on. Sure, we'll do that. But hold on. If you don't lead me, then we don't need you. Here's what we'll do. It's time for a bit of a goblin toss. It's a national sport where Edrahil's from. Okay, that's not true, but it should be. There we are. <laughs> Nox prone. Really good, only three damage, but that's okay. Let's go into attack. What's go on, Carly. We've got it. Oh! Yeah, that goblin is very, very dead. Let's pick up what we can. Two gold. Not a lot. You know what? I actually do need torches. We'll pick them up. Sure. Do we need a lot of light? Not really. Yeah, we've all got dark vision. Even Gel. I mean, not naturally. We have a ring for him. The Sunwalker's gift. Very handy here, I'm sure. Let's have a look. Okay, so there's only real one direction that we get to go towards. Yeah, west. I do wonder if our light evocation cantrip would be sufficient. Do we need a torch? I don't know. For now, Karlak, bring out your own. Shadowheart should be okay. She's got her mace. And we're now ready. Time to braid the Shadowlands. But if a goblin like that is freaked out, we should be mindful. There's a strange miasma over here. Let's pass through it, I suppose. We've got to. Next. I can feel the shadow's power here, but they don't seem to be harming me. Oh, hold on. Let's talk to Shadowheart first. The shadow curse. It doesn't seem to affect me like it does others. Not as badly, at least. Do you know what this means? I must be blessed. Lady Shah is protecting me where others are left to face her wrath. She loves me. She must do. Maybe so. We've been trying to pull her away from Shar. This might bring her back. Huh. I like that first response, but what about me? No, Edriel would say, so what does it all mean? Lady Shar wouldn't bless me like this for no reason. There must be something she wants of me. Those signs we found about Dark Justicius. Perhaps they were no coincidence. In either case, I need to watch for any place dedicated to Lady Shah. A temple, perhaps. So now we can go left or right. Shadowheart's gonna be okay. For the rest of us, we've got to watch out. Here's a dead ox, Shadow Cursed. Looks like it gored one of its attackers before it died. Did it now? Which means there's gonna be a body close by. Let's have a look then. Yeah, there's one over here. It's a tiefling. Huh. I don't remember the name. Were you from the refugees? Here's a journal. Let's have a look. A tiefling's journal charting the journey from Elturil to the Emerald Enclave, and now on the road to Baldur's Gate. The ox just up and died. 
It started choking out of nowhere, then killed over. We tried to pull the cart, but the ox knocked the wheel off when it went down, and the thing is in splinters. The others want to grab what we can and keep going, but this place feels wrong. My skin is crawling, like something is watching us from the darkness. No one else is talking much, but I can tell they feel the same. Good to know. Too big to be a spear wound. A horn? Perhaps a horn. There's a heavy chest over here. It's locked. We'll send it home. Yeah, we'll do that. We don't have Asteri and our rogue to actually unlock it. So off to camp you go. Very handy. We might as well have a bag of holding if we're allowed to do that. All right. Let's have a look around again. Nothing to really worry about. Not at all. Oh, hold on. A new herb for me to pick up. Nice. Some new vitriol we're able to make. Let's go down now. Okay, it all converges. Wait, hold on. There's another route over here. And a camp. I just saw a hyena. Oh, the goblin camp. There's bound to be another one over here, but hold on. Here's a note. An old map in a druidic style of what appear to be hidden routes out of the Emerald Enclave. The destination is marked as Baldur's Gate and a note is attached. Take only what you can carry, go through the mountain pass. If anyone falls, leave them. Can't afford to be slowed down by excess baggage. Good luck. Dear God. That's pretty grim. Okay, so if we have a look at the map, we'll want to head down and make a turn. We could sneak up, but let's just have a conversation. They couldn't threaten us, I believe. Maybe I should use the potion of animal speaking. I mean, if we've got a creature over there, that would be handy. Let's see, I've got one right there. Let's drink it. I mean, I didn't use it much early on, but as I began to use it more and more, it's led to some pretty informative conclusions and also entertaining. All right, how many do we have to worry about? Only a few, only a small group, really. Let's go say hello. Hey boy. You want the bone? Fish! Huh. What are you doing? Ah! Hells, I near stained myself. Just seeing if this shadow curse is as bad as they say. Word is, it eats anyone gets too deep into the dark. I take it you're the true soul we're waiting on? Needs passage to Moonrise? Yeah, sure, why not? But I thought light was enough to keep the curse at bay. Aye, in the shallows. But a curse don't care about some itty bitty light once you get deeper. But don't worry, boss. We've got a guide. Talk to Kansif inside. He'll run through it. Really good to know. But one more thing. Go and fetch the bone you threw. <laughs> Wait, you, you, you're joking, yeah? But we're ready to go. You just need to tell Kansif inside. Right, about that. I mean, have a look. It's part of my Oath of Vengeance. It's an actual paladin response built for me here. Those who refuse me do not live for very long. So you want me to... I mean, I'll just... I'll just go and, uh... No! No! <laughs> now that was art. That was beautiful. I mean, we were gonna kill him anyway. Now I don't have to do it myself. I wonder if we could find his body. I suppose not. Not right now. All right. Let's come over here to chat. We could talk to the hyena. Yeah, let's do that. Who knows what we'll learn. I don't know your smell. Uh, are you a friend? I did save you. I mean, that one goblin wanted to send you out. I'm more of a friend than the goblin with the bone. You know he tried to kill you. He did? Then I must have been bad. They beat me because I am weak. Because I am soft. Even though I try my best. Oh, come on. That's really sad. Okay. No, you need to go. You don't need to be here, alright? 
I could tell it to fight back, but it would probably die. You belong to the wild, not to the goblins. Go and be free. Okay, a DC of 10. We've got guidance and also friends. The creature shouldn't be here for long. I mean, look, in higher difficulty modes, the target might accuse you of enchanting them. It's a hyena. We should hopefully be fine. So now we've got advantage. Nice. Let's go. 22. Done. But, but the goblin said I must stay here or they'll cut me. Kill me. Wow. Okay. If not now, when? Go on while you still can. We'll try again. A DC of 14. A 21. Done. You're right. The goblins are cruel. Huh. I'm scared. But I don't want them to hurt me anymore. Maybe I should go. Thank you. Goodbye, new friend. Yeah, get out of here. Stay out of the shadows, too. You don't want to go there. All right, hold on. Let's have a look at the map. So it went away up over here. We've got, what, two pathways. I don't want to miss anything at the moment. Let's have a look. Let's see. Seek protection from the shadow curse. Right. Nier had a moon lantern to protect himself from it. We don't have that. No, it was broken. So now we need to position everyone around us. Edrahill, wait where you're at right now. Use your elixir of hill giant strength. 21 strength, a big change. Shadowheart, move over to the right. Use your elixir as well. Then Gel, bring out your other staff. Stand right by Sharp Eye Laura. Let's explore. Yeah, right to their left. Now Karlak, you'll bring out your weapon. And I want you to also stand right by Sharp Eye Laura. Perfect. Actually, let's make a bit more room. Throw that basket. All right. Now we're going to have a conversation. We've got to position ourselves carefully. We're playing with tactician. Things are bound to be a bit more challenging. Now, hello, Sharp Eye Laura. I miss the camp. It's too quiet out here. About that. It's very quiet back at the camp, too. Don't worry about it. All right, let's say hello to Brawler Vez. I want their lanterns, too. Can we get moving? Nab these boots from a gnome and they don't bloody fit. Oh, don't worry. Andrew Hill has a boot return policy. He'll need your feet, too. Now we'll talk to Kansef. True soul. An honor. Did you bring the liar? The what? Why do you need one? We were told to expect a true soul. That Night Warden Mintharo would send someone with her lyre to summon a guide through the darkness. I admit, I'm surprised the true soul does not know this. Where are you headed, exactly? About that. So, back at the goblin camp, Andrew Hill took his time. He moved into the camp, he systematically dismantled everyone over there, but he needed information. He had to find out so much, he had to save Druid Halson. Then he wiped out everyone. Here, we don't need them. They don't have valuable information that I know of. So instead, Andrew Hill will say, I'm here to destroy the Absolute and every last cultist. What? Oh, come on, Vez. Don't be surprised. He never liked you. It's a Karlak. You get to move first. Good. Let's have her use right now, as usual, Reckless Attack. Let's go in. One dead goblin. Goodbye, Laura. Now she's gonna move down. Let's have her go after Bez. Cry yeah. about it. Move on down. You've got it. Karlak needs a 13 to hit, but rolled an 11. Thanks to Shadowheart, she's got the War God's Blessing, a plus 10, a 23. Go on. All right. Goodbye, Bez, too. Only level three. I mean, we're level seven. We're very, very powerful. Next, we'll use our Great Weapon Master bonus attack. Let's go after Kansef. 27 damage. He's not dead. He's close to it, but he's not dead. Now for Gel, he's got a few different spells. We could use Hold Person. That would be great. Let's try it out. Betty, don't move. Perfect, okay. We don't have to worry about him now. Let's move down so we've got our crowd control going on. Your turn is over. Bye forever, pal. Edriel, it's Where your turn. From here? You don't have advantage. Do you need it? Maybe not. For now, though, use your pommel strike. Try to daze him. 
four damage, and he's dazed as well. Okay, strike again. A nat one, a critical miss. But thanks to Gel, we've now rolled a 10. Divination wizards are great. 14 damage. All right, we're gonna use a divine smite. Yeah, level one. Go on. Goodbye, Kansif. That means we need to get ready for Breathe one more enemy, Betty. He's having to watch all of his comrades die. Andrew Hill, your turn is over. Betty, you're done too. All right, Shadowheart. She's moving in. Time to attack. A standard melee attack should do it. Let's go on. 17, a critical hit. Strike again. 13, another critical hit. Her turn is now over. Harlack. <laughs> well, actually, Edrill, you're closer. Strike now. Look at that. 24 damage. We could use a Divine Smite, but that would be a waste. One more attack. It's over. We've won. We killed them all. There we go. A Lantern. These are really nice, too. And a potion. I don't need it. A random arm over there. Brutal. All right, Kansif, you've got what? Thermo Arcanic Gloves. Whenever you deal fire damage, you gain two turns of heat, meaning one. Okay. Engulfed by a vengeful fire, takes one to four fire damage each turn, but can use heat convergence. Let's check again. Consume your heat to fuel a powerful attack. Huh. That could be interesting. You could build for that, I suppose. I'll take your lantern too. Those boots? I don't see any boots over here. No special boots. I don't want your nasty food, but I'll take your lantern. That's about it. Don't waste a step. Now, Laura, do you have anything? Okay, some special arrows, but that's about it. We beat them all. It was pretty easy, but again, it was all due to good positioning. And also, we're just really powerful. We're level seven, almost eight. Let's have a look over here. Some tools, but that's about it. Nothing really to do over here, no, only a chasm. So let's move back out. We'll have a look at the map in just a moment. We killed them all. Sure, we could have used them, but forget that. We'll find other friends, better friends. Let's have a look again. So we've got another enemy. Oh, Gronag, he's not dead. Isn't he lucky? Now Shadowheart, she's got a level three evocation spell called Daylight. Why don't we enchant Karlak's weapon? We want everyone here to be lit up. Shadowheart isn't really impacted by the Shadow Curse. So after that, we're going to use what? Shield of Faith, plus two to AC for Karlak. She's at 20 AC now. For Edrahil, I gave him sort of justice. I mean, we're easily able to switch out our weapons. Now, I want you to use Tears Protection. 21 AC for Edrahil. After that, Light. Perfect, okay. Let's move on. That goblin needs to die. Wait, you didn't see us, but you heard us, okay. Carlac, move up. Shoot down. You know what to do. There we go. 15 damage. He's dead. These things have stayed Took only one shot. All right, let's climb up. We've got a nest over to our right, but there's no harpies here. Only a severed head. That really isn't much better. No. All right, let's see. A wooden trunk, but it's locked. I'll pick it up. All right, we'll pick it up and we'll send it over to our good buddy, Asterion. He knows what to do. All right, let's head on down now. We'll check Let's out that goblin's body. Let's go all the way around. Perception failed. I don't like that. Hopefully it's something minor, but I don't know. All right, Gronag, you've got a potion of greater healing, some gold, alchemist fire, very nice. One headless corpse, nasty. And a burlap sack. Okay, do you have anything at all? Let's find out. I don't like these weird stones over to the right. There's too many holes. And too many skulls in here, by the way. So here's a letter called Brave. Dear Mum, you forgot me, and that's not nice. The last time I forgot to tie my shoes good and tight, you gave me a clout in the ear, so I hope someone does that to you. Let's go on. I feel funny here in the dark. The dark goes movie movie, it hurts. My head feels like porridge, it hurts. Help me, Mr. Swit. Mom, oh, Mom. Sorry, I wasn't brave. That's really tragic and dark. 
Jeez. All right, well, we're doing fine so far, and Karlak, not a great time to dance, okay? We'll keep on heading down over here for the moment. You know, before we came here, everyone told Edrahil and his party how terrible things were here. I knew it was going to be bad, but this bad, I had no idea. I mean, have a look in that room. It's pure carnage. Now, my question is, what put all of the schools in that one chamber? Maybe I don't want to find out. All right, we'll head back to the bridge in just a moment. We've got one more little area to check out, including a chest to loot. Or we could be ambushed. Okay. We've only been ambushed a few times. Let's get our bearings. We don't need to freak out. Karlak, you get to move. That's very good. We're fighting what's called, let's see, Shadow Cursed Needle Blights. They're all level three. There's three of them. Okay. Then we've got Shadow Cursed Vine Blights, level six. They're much bulkier. I wonder if fire or radiant damage would do more to them. I don't know. But they're pretty much scattered all around. Karlak, you could go after one. You could shove maybe a needle blight. We are right by a ledge. But wait, hold on. You've got a scroll over here, don't you, Gal? Fireball. I'll take fireball. Wall of fire, that too. I've got so many scrolls I've not used. So it's probably about time. Fireball, how many could you hit? We could hit three. Yeah, that could be really good. Let's try it out. Go on, Karlak. Let's see. Karlak cast Fireball and Shadow Curse Vine Blight. They need an 11 to save. They rolled 16. But thanks to Gel, it's only a 2. Enjoy. Haha, <laughs> got him. But wait, hold on. That one Needle Blight, it blew up. Which means we don't want to kill them. Not close up anyway. Alright, fine. Let's move up now. Right over here, Karlak. We damaged, let's see, two Vine Blights, 58 HP. The other one, 39. Now bully that Needle Blight. Have a fun trip. Later. Two gone. <laughs> Good job, Karlak. Okay, her turn is done. One more Blight left. Approaching who? Edrahil. Using Needles. Wow, 13 damage. Constrict on Edrahil. He made his save. Good. Vine Blight number two. Attacking Karlak. Missing. Moving away from Karlak. Being hit for a lot of damage. Haha, <laughs> you fool. All right. Because we were surprised, we had to miss our turn. Another attack from Karlak. She keeps on dodging. Well, great work. So now, it's back to us over here. Edrahil, he's not able to move. Not yet. I'm worried about a lot of damage hitting him. So hold on. What we'll do then, we'll move over here. Soldier. Right by that Vine Blight and that Needle Blight. Shove that little Needle Blight. A little bit further back, if you don't mind. Perfect. Then we'll go after the Vine Blight. It's very simple. Be reckless. You know what to do. Nice work. Okay. Tangle Vine Form. A reaction ability from that Vine Blight. Here's your 18. Do not get entangled. Not right now. That makes sense, too. I mean, they are vines. Attack again. Only 13 HP. You've done it. It's gone. But you've been entangled. Shoot. That's what I didn't want. That's okay. Let's go over here to Gel. We could use a fireball. Now, my question is, could I hit more than one? I don't believe so. Fireball is a classic. We only need to kill three at the moment. Only three. That's it. We've got a few options. I mean, I could come over here and use magic missile. That would be fine. Fireball would do a lot of damage, too. I do love fireball. Even Cloud of Daggers to stop that one little Needle Blight. See, again, I'm trying to avoid it actually hitting for Karlak. That's my big fear at the moment. So to keep it simple, to make it easy, we're just going to use a Firebolt. Let's hit that one Vine Blight that currently has what? 39 HP left. Go on. 14 damage. Not bad. Move back. He's done for now. You're almost done. Shadowheart, you've got your own turn over here. I wonder, could you come over here to shove her away? Ah, she's restrained, so you can't do that. What we'll do instead... Let's see. Freedom of movement. Perfect. Use it right now. 
Let's set her free. Go on. She won't be able to be restrained. Not anymore. Fuck yes. All right. Let's move you back. Shadow Heart, you too. No one's going to take a lot of damage on my watch. Well, if I'm able to help it. Next, we'll bring out our spiritual weapon. We're going to use a great sword. Right over here by that needle blind. I want to stop it if I can. A bonus action. She's done now. Perfect. Okay, we can't move anymore. That needle blight. The needles on our spiritual weapon for damage. Let's see. That fully powered vine blight also going after my spiritual weapon. I love it. Okay, Edrahill. We'll move over to the right. Vine blight number two. 25 HP. Now only 10. Strike again. All gone. Beautiful. Let's move back. I think your turn is currently over. Yeah, you're done for now, Edrahill. You got your kill. Now, Karlak, you've got a job to do. Let's keep it simple. We'll go after the Vine Blight. No, sorry, the Needle Blight. Let's try to blow it up. 19 damage. That was a solid hit. Another attack. 11. It blows up, <laughs> damaging the Vine Blight. Awesome. Okay, bring out your axe again. You're done. Now come right over here, Gel. It took me a moment to really figure things out, but we're doing fine. You know what? A fireball for fun. Just a bit of fun. Let's go. 29 damage. Not bad. Let's move back. I had to do it. Okay. Then we're going to use for fun a sunbeam. Yeah, let's try that out. Or instead, our other option would be a Guiding Bolt. A level 3 Guiding Bolt. Yeah, there we go. 18 damage. Not really sufficient, but I'll take it. I could use another spiritual weapon. I thought maybe we could take it out by now, but we didn't quite do it, did we? No. We could also jump on over, but we only have a bonus action. So for fun, because we can, again, let's use another spiritual weapon. I know, I went so hard on that creature. It's under turn again. Fine Blight, you're getting away. What a shame. Entangling plants. All right. That's okay. We'll get it. Edrahill, attack. Just shoot. Another attack after that. And we've won. Okay. As for all the vines over here, let's get away. Oh, I was going to use Firebolt to burn them. All right, Chess, what do you have? Frost Prince. Ice Knife, level 1 Conjuration spell. Not really that handy, but I'll take it. And I think we're largely done here. Wood Bark. A few elixirs. Yeah, nice. I'll loot what we need. Then we'll head back on over to the bridge. You know what? We'll take a short rest. Sure. There's one. That took the edge off. I'll be a bit more careful, largely because we are in the Shadowlands. And as you can tell, things are pretty grim. I'm hoping that in time we're going to find some manner of safe house. A place where we can talk to friendly people who won't try to take our souls. Oh, look at that. An outhouse door. Is there a demon inside? Inside that toilet? I could throw it. Now that's evil. Do I want to? No, I don't want to. I won't touch it again. Let's have a look over here. We've got some old ruined buildings. No ambushes so far, right? If it wasn't so dark, I would scout around a little bit more, and usually I do, like in a blighted village, but there's nothing really over here that's too apparent. A wooden chest? Huh. It's locked. I could pick it up and send it back to camp, I'll think about it. Alright, so up over here we've got a key. Well, there's a locked chest, so it's gotta be for that or maybe a door. Any letters? Only a ring. Only a ring. One gold, please. That's too much work for one little gold piece. No, naturally, as I always tell you, I'll be back for it. When I'm done clearing out an entire zone, I'd love to come back for all the little bits and bobs. There we go. Hammer Grim Mist Amulet. Fog Cloud. Level 1 Conjuration Spell. Nothing really that good, but now you know. Right there. Alright, let's have a look around. So, we'll keep on searching around our current vicinity. Maybe we'll move up north. I've only changed up a few spells right now. We don't have nearly as many spell slots. And also, we know a little bit more about what we're going to fight. Usually, you get a variety of different foes over in Baldur's Gate. But it's bound to be evil. It's bound to be bad. So we need maybe a few more protective spells. 
Let's move over here right now. Let's see. Anyone home? We've got some weird standing torches. A movable brick. Wait, what's over here? An ambush. Oh, that's what you were talking about. They're called measles. All level 5. I don't know what they are, nor do I like them. 88 HP. Whoa, that's a lot. All right. Let me think about it. Okay, let's move back for just a moment. They don't know I'm here. They don't need to know that I'm here. Let's all move back. I don't want them to see us, okay? So wait, way over here. Everyone sneak. I don't want to draw any attention. Shadowheart, you're gonna be on your own for just a moment, okay? I want you to use Sanctuary. You or an ally cannot be targeted until you attack or harm a creature. You can still take damage from area spells. Well, go on. Okay. It's your time. I want her to move up. Hold on. Let's just wait for just a brief moment. She's not able to sneak too far in. So I just want her to move right over here. Let's try this way. And to say hello. Let's lure them out. It's a wild plan. Is it going to work out? I don't actually know. It depends. Can I enter turn base mode right away? Perfect. All right. They're all jumping in after her. They're not moving towards us yet. Here comes another one. Oh, they caught Karlak. But look, she's surrounded. That's a good thing. That means, well, now we know they can teleport, which I really, really hate. Gel, you've got a few options, I think. If only we could, I don't know, teleport her out. We've got spells like that, but I'm going to have to wait. What about hold person? Old person could be really, really good. Level three. What about level four? One target, another one, then one more. Try it out. Heck yeah, only one made their save. So now you're in trouble. Okay, Gel. What else could you do right now? Stay close by, wait over here. That's all that I want you to do. Your turn is over. Back over to Shadowheart. They can't hurt her. Not right now. We could bring out, well, we've got a few options. Sunbeam. Sunbeam would be really, really fun. <laughs> all right, fine. They're all lined up, good. It's time for a good old Sunbeam. Let's make it happen. Enjoy. Look at that damage. So they're able to hit her now, but who's blinded? One, two. Three, four. Light powers are great, everyone. They're really, really good. So we could use it again, that's true. Arcane Synergy. Ah, uh, I can't use it for one turn. Understood. That does make sense. All right, back over to our spiritual weapon. Let's bring out a trident. A little bit of variety. Stick a trident in them, they're done. All right, so she's gonna wait right over there. Her turn is over. Up. Back over to Karlak. Let's go after whoever, really. Yeah, jump over here. Just hit someone in the face. Do it a lot. Handy. Perfect. She'll jump in. Time to attack. Be reckless. Go on. 20 damage. Last raid after that. Come on. 27 damage, a critical hit. Awesome. Okay, her turn is over. Gel, you're done too. If only you could hide, right? All right, holy weapon, spiritual weapon. Go after that one measle. No more measles here. Nine damage. Old person can be really good whenever it passes. Oh, they're trying to go after Shadowheart now. Again, they missed. Back over to Karlak. Nice. Now, Edrahil, you've been over time. here. It's your turn to jump on in, I suppose. Yeah. So, you've got what that you could use? Missy Sep to play it safe. I wonder... No, just jump over here. Just jump over here. We don't need magic. You've got legs. Don't let them see you. Surprise! And he's in. All right. Well, that's good. Let's go back over here to Karlak. So go after... Oh, yeah, that one target. Hold on, spiritual weapon. You'll attack the weaker measle. Dead. 
All right, so you're done. In turn, Karlak, you'll go after the one that currently has 55 HP. Be reckless. All right, now I want you to use your Wolf Heart. Only because Enderhill and Shadow Heart are all here. Now they'll have advantage on any type of melee attack. 27 damage. She's done. The lance board is set. So, what else do we want to use? We could use another hold person. That would be mean. And also very good. We've also got blindness. But hold person, even better. Let's try to hold you two. Oh wait, we still have one. So you two then. Before we do that though, Edrahill, could you do anything? If not, then we're fine, I suppose. Spiritual weapon, Shadow Heart. Ah, here we go. Shadow Heart. She'll strike now. One less measle. Alright, the last one is where? It's all glowy around here. Yeah, right there. Cool. A critical miss, unfortunately, but that's okay. Blindness could work out then. Yeah. Let's try it out. Level two. Ooh, you failed. Now it's blind. Of course. Yeah, I thought Gale would be a little bit handier right now for crowd control spells, and it's currently working out. I did forget to bring in Edrahill in the very beginning. I was too busy focused on what was going on, but it's worked out. It's worked out. All right, only two left. Let's go down to attack. Easy time to hit, 28 damage. We don't need to cleave. That would be dangerous. All right, 24 damage. And we've got our bonus attack. All right, one less measle. Back over to Edrahill. Finally, your time to strike again. A level one Divine Smite. If it misses, it doesn't use up a slot. Nice, good to know. Hit it. Okay, we've got 20 damage. Another attack. Oh, not that one. No, not that one. Perfect. Keep on going. Boom. 23 damage. Alright, who do we have? We've got Shadow Heart. Two more attacks to go. 18. One more. Guided Strike. Now she hits. It's over. We beat them all. You can't forget about why we're here. With that little movable brick. Well, maybe not the brick, but what's behind it? A chest key. A potter who will use a chest and not one of his own creations? That's not really repping your brand very well, my man. <laughs> That's pretty funny. All right, let's see. Pull down alt. Well, there it is. I mean, it's huge. Let's jump up real quick. Easy. And inside we've got luminous gloves. Radiating orb gloves. When the wearer deals radiant damage, receive one turn of radiating orb. Strength saving throw plus one. Okay, the orb. What are you? A condition. Affected entity has minus one to attack rolls per remaining turn. It also sheds bright light in an area surrounding it. Okay. One idol Selene. And a letter over here. Also about the moon maiden. Let the name last light not be a portent. Let your moon glow continue forever and fill our hearts. Okay. Grant cutting to my brother, Halfred. Gotcha. So, we'll keep an eye out for that name. Let's jump down again. No damage to be had. Good. Alright, let's take a left right over here. We've got some wacky magical torches. I've seen a bunch of weird stuff, but for some reason, it's the magical torches that really stand out. Strange, right? Continual flame. Enveloped in flames that produce no heat and never seem to die out. Fancy, okay. We've also got a backpack. Let's see, a potion of greater healing. A rope. Water. Oh, I always take water. Water is amazing. For many reasons. And a journal log of a true soul called Corliss. Alright. Day four, scouting mission dispatched by Thorm to Shadowlands. Objective, locate nests of absolute non-believers. Reach outskirts of village. Disturbing sounds echo throughout the shadows. Must evade pursuit. Preparing to create a light barrier for protection against lurking monsters and deadly darkness. May the absolute guide me. Okay, so you came over here to a chicken coop. Did you make it? No, you're very, very dead. Okay. 
let's have a very brief conversation. I'll take your gold. I don't want your torch. Time to talk. Wake up. We need information and we'll get it right now. A paladin talking to the dead. That's strange, right? regards you lifelessly. Sure. Who were you in life? Okay. How did you die? Unslaked hunger. Unquenched thirst. I found water in your pack. Maybe a different type of thirst. I don't know. How did you end up here? Trapped shadow mastiffs. Repels them with flame. Yeah, I figured. What's up? Those beasts still prowl the eternal night. But at least they're afraid of the fire. I mean, we have fire too. A lot more, in fact. I mean, look at Karlak. She's always on fire. Anyway, tell me about the torches. How are they still burning? Spell. Continual flame. Continual flame. An unquenchable light. Oh. Cost a queen's crown worth of ruby dust to summon. No kidding, huh? All right. I don't know why I would want to, but let's ask. How could I put them out? Destroy torches. The spell's power wanes. You can ask no more questions. We're all done here for now. All right, let's have a look around. A lot of torches. I wonder what finally got you. You didn't die from only hunger and thirst. I mean, there's blood all over. Whoa, hold on. What's over here? There's a bit of light, right? A massive shield. They could, I don't know, call it the last shield. That's incredible. And probably where we need to go. Yeah, let's head over there. I've got a lot of questions right now. I think eventually I'll turn out the lights we have. Probably before we go into the last end. Whoa, hold on. Look at the tieflings here, they're all dead. I'm not really good with names, so I don't know if we know these tieflings exactly. Asherak sounds a bit familiar, I think. Here's Ikrin. Seems like they put up a struggle. In vain. Two keys. Nothing else, really. Hold on. Use a bit of fire. We could always use a bit of fire, especially here. Wish my memory was much better. Alright, who's over here? A dead cultist. Only one? Jeez. That means he did a lot of damage, or his friends were able to get away. Another key, a worn key. So, right now we have found three. Called Donnie. He's got some unique arrows, I'll take that. And what about you, Amic? Nothing at all. Okay. I've got some questions. I hope they've got a lot of answers. I mean, naturally, they're going to be on their guard. I'm coming out of the blue. I look hostile. I always look hostile. Here we go. We've made it. This place is protected. You might find allies here, or at least supplies. Maybe so. Now, hold on. Attention. I want you to put away your weapon. Thank you. <laughs> Way too bright. Way too bright. We also need to wash Let's get up. On with it. I don't want to talk to new people, and of course be covered in blood. <laughs> I would look insane. Perfect. Alright, let's have a look at the map. So we're over here, and there's still more to look at. I'm glad we came over here. Ah, uh, there's our objective. Gods are Finally, me. a warm bed, a little bit of light, no natural light. Here. Something must be keeping it at bay. No kidding. Some very powerful magic for sure. Let's go say hello. You there! Step forward and keep your hands off your weapons. Who are you? I'm Edrahil. I've sworn an oath to deliver justice at any cost. Unless you harm another, you are safe from me. Duly noted. Just keep your hands where I can see them and follow me. Come. Naturally. So we've got the Harpers here, okay. Jahira! That name sounds familiar. 
I can't remember from where, though. Nice to meet you, I suppose. She looks angry. Oh, there it is. Okay. You know what? Hold on here. Hold on. At ease, Jahira. I am no threat. I am bound by oath not to harm the innocent. Of course, what Edrahil would add on is, there is no innocent goblin. Anyway. Ha! Well, I am certainly no innocent, Paladin. So I'll bind you with vines a moment longer. If you do not mind. I do. This is why we're here, you see. It is a curious creature that hides all manner of secrets. But if there's one thing that we know... It's that it knows its own kind. You should never have come here, true soul. Okay, hold on. It's time to rage against the vines. Let's try that out. It's only a strength check. A DC of 15. All right. We'll add a 1D4. Thank you, Shadowheart. Let's try it out. A 19. We did it. <laughs> you can't hold Edrahil down. Stand down. Or we'll put you down. Hold on. I can explain everything. You know, that happens to us quite a bit, so I'm not even mad about it. I'm not interested in the Absolute's manipulations. Harpers, cut this true soul down! Stop! What are you doing? He's the one who saved us! He's the one who protected the Emerald Grove. Yep. Didn't leave a goblin standing. Not so bad to hang around with either. Saved two of my friends. One from a harpy and one from a mad druid with a snake. Didn't make a fuss of our thieving either. I pretty much trust him with my life. A true soul with a mind of his own? How is that possible? Good question. And look at that. We helped out everyone back at the grove and it's paying off. I mean, we didn't do it because of that, but... It's good to know that our choices had actually some good consequences too, not just negative ones. Alright, let's tell her about our artifact. We might as well. What in the hell is that thing? Good question. No, I'll tell her everything I know about the artifact. Congratulations. You've earned yourself the benefit of the doubt. Hear me, Harpers. All clear. At ease. I'll not pretend to understand what that artifact is. But I'm old and wise enough to recognize a sliver of hope when it crawls out of the dark. Tell me. Why have you come here? Sure. So, some people might want to get rid of the worm. I mean, I would really just get rid of it and adventure normally. No matter what, I would go after the Absolute. So, Edrahil's goal is quite simple. To destroy the Absolute in its lair, the Moonrise Towers. Then you found an ally in me. For that is precisely why I am here. There's food in the inn over there. Beds too, if you require rest. Aloe oil in the cupboard, in case the vines gave you a rash. Settle in. Then come join me for a drink. You may just be the godsend we've been praying for. Join me. Well, look at that. Karlak has a bit of inspiration. And a few things to say, too. Now hold on. Before we talk to anyone, let's move over here. We'll get changed. Wait, what happened to you two? Huh. I wouldn't want to be out there. I mean, I was. Another Harper, Lysandra. 
They just got back. They do look pretty strong. Anyway, let's change a bit. Okay, maybe I should wear a shirt. Probably a good idea. <laughs> there we go. That looks better. Now, what about Looks Karlak? Good. He'll change too. Hmm. And also Shadowheart. There. We might as well relax. I mean, we won't be able to do so for a very long I'll time again. Close. Let's talk to Karlak first. Us. Oh my god, soldier. That's Jahira. The Jahira. Okay. She lives in the city, right? Don't you know the whole story? Years ago, over a century, Jahira was part of a group that saved Baldur's Gate from Saravok, a ball sport trying to plunge the city into war. My mum used to tell us stories about them. The legends who protected the city from evil. She said Jahira was a powerful druid. Adamant. Tough. I've told myself those stories a thousand times since. I never thought I'd meet Jahira. She's a hero, and I was always... some outer city kid. Can't believe she wants to talk to us about working together. What a day! Now, come on. You're a hero, too. You've done so much. You're gonna do a lot more. Let's talk to Shadowheart. I mean, we might as well just kind of catch up with everyone. This place... There's a power in these shadows. I can sense it. It's ancient. Familiar. Well, I don't like that. All right, we could talk more, but she doesn't have too much to add at the moment. We'll try Gel. What about you, pal? I've never seen such a concentration of shadow magic. We must forge on, but carefully. It will corrupt any who lack the power to control it. True, very fair and true. What's so different about shadow magic? It is the very antithesis of all the weave stands for. A magic of confusion and corruption, drawn forth only by those desperate or damned enough to accept its degradations. Followers of Mistra, those who call on the true weave, are expressly forbidden to indulge it. Right. I thought Mistra was a god of all magic. Why forbid it? Mistra's domain is the weave and the magic that courses through it. These shadows were drawn from another source, created by another goddess, Shah. Mistra cannot destroy it even if she wishes to, but she can try to ensure her followers resist its temptations. Now, I think it's time we moved on to lighter subjects, for we too are lost to the darkness. Was there anything else? No kidding. Well, with that said, I thought maybe Gel and Shadowheart would fight a little bit more, bicker a little bit. Let's go. We'll go talk to a few other so people around here. Can carry me. All right, I did see that Karlak Never did I mention Thaman. Oh, here we go. Gel, you have so much to say all the time. Of hope. Let's Mr. talk over Darkness. here. Oh, look at that, a flaming yes. fist. We'll talk One to him first. Where that came from. You could all... Hey, that's close enough. Artifact or no, I don't like the likes of you crashing our party. Give it a rest, Alfred. We need all the God's damned help we can get. I'm crashing your party? Huh. What party is it that I'm crashing? Rescue party. Not that you'll give a triple shat damn, but we were ambushed by them bloody cultists. Bastards torched the pigsty we were staying in and made off with the Grand Duke of Baldur's Gate himself. Okay, okay. I don't suppose Counselor Florg made it all the way here. Sure did. For all the good that does us. She's inside. One of the ground floor chambers. Guess you need to be a god's damned counselor to get room and board around here. We'll go talk to her in just a moment. Whatever plans they have, I want to join in. We've got to, I think. Oh, a traitor, a quartermaster. Great. That's really good news. Let's go over here real quick. Lissandra, hello. Good to see a friendly face. Oh, that's it? <laughs> Alright, fine. Now, is he here? Yeah, look! Damon, let's talk to him. Karlak! I thought you'd be in the city by now. We were ambushed by cultists. Half of us were captured, the other half ran here. Off the anvil into the forge. We'll find them. Hopefully. Before you run off into the belly of the beast, 
There's something I need to tell you. Well, two things. Good news and bad news. Right. It's not my choice. What do you want to hear first, Karlak? The good news, obviously. I only need one more piece of infernal iron to craft an insulating chamber that can make it possible for Karlak to... Touch people! Exactly! Oh my god. It's really happening. It's been so long. We've got the iron. Let's do this thing! Hang on! I think you'll want to hear the bad news too. Yeah, sure. But first, fix me. Please. Oh boy. Okay, hold on. Let's let Demon speak. It sounds very important, okay? Fine. Well, go on then. I don't enjoy saying this, Karlak. But there's no two ways about it. Your engine is going to blow and I can't fix it. I'm not sure anyone can. It's simply too hot to exist here in the material plane. Unless you return to Avernus. For good. This thing is going to blow. Sooner rather than later. But... But still, you, you can give me something that'll let me touch again, right? Safely. Yes, but... That's all I need to know. Do it. Please. Yeah, come on. Let's go. Go on. Give him the iron. Let's make it happen. Well. All right. This shouldn't take long. Man, he's really good. Able to do all that with only a hammer. I need to learn from him. Same as last time. You'll need to install it yourself. This should do the trick. There. So did it... work? Only one way to find out. Okay. We could lay a hand on her. But she's a good friend of ours. We get on so well, we fight together, and Edrahill is very good to, of course, his close friends. Pull her into a hug. Come on, let's go. Ha <laughs> ha. Thank you. I can't believe it. Thank you, Dallon. Thank you so much. It's the least I could do. Before you go, there's something I need to tell you. That engine of yours, it's contained for the moment, but it's just too hot to exist here in the material plane indefinitely. I know you know that, but the thing is, there's a cure. I wasn't making any headway with the mechanics, none at all. The environment here is just too cold to sustain metals like the ones inside you. You have to return to Avernus. For good. Or this thing is going to burn you up from the inside out. And sooner than you think. The minute I set foot back in Avernus, Zarya will force me back into service. I'm not doing her bidding again. I'd rather die. I get that, but don't rule it out. The world just might be better with you in it. Even in Avernus. I won't stop trying to figure out a cure, but... At this point, I think we all have to face the inevitable. Dear God. I don't like that at all. Don't just look at me, buddy. Come on. Okay. Well... We'll tell him thank you, all right? Or actually what Edrahill would say. We'll have to make the inevitable, evitable then. You read my mind. Thanks, Damon. Really, you've given me more than I could ever repay. It's been my pleasure. Good luck, both of you. 
Look after yourself, all right? Well, Carl Link has more to say. Let's continue our conversation. This is the best day. The best day! No kidding. I'm so happy for you, Carl Link. I'm so happy for me, too. Now, I just need to find someone to cuddle up to tonight, and I'll be the happiest woman on the Sword Coast. Sure. Anyone in mind? I'm not sure. Depends who's got me in mind. Withers was giving me the old eye the other night. Then again, maybe it was just an old eye. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let's keep in mind, we've got Shadowheart right over there. She wouldn't be cool with it, okay? So, let's talk about the engine later on, okay? Edgerhill wouldn't really concern himself with that, nor does she need to be concerned with it either, because she's told us more than once she would rather die than go back there. We'll leave her right now. If we need to, we could bring it back up. But, for the moment, I don't want to. Hold on, I've got my potion. Speak with animals. Let's go talk to that ox over here. Mmm, it's toasty in here. Okay, thank you. Very valuable. What about you? Oh, the strange one, right. No. Incapable. What? Incapable of what? Not for you to know. Huh. Come on now, you've piqued my curiosity. A DC of 14. We'll add guidance and also friends. Let's try it out. 25, we made it. Well... Come close. Your mind to mine. Kinda weird, but I'll do it. Oh my god! What just happened? Are you satisfied? No, I'm not! Okay, hold on. Those are the least bovine thoughts I've ever seen. What are you, really? Keep quiet. And you won't have to find out. Well, hold on. I can't leave you here. People could die. And again, we could die too, but Adriel has got to handle it. Grab the bull by the horns, you know. Whatever you are, you're coming out of hiding now. All I wanted was a bit of hay, a good brushing, and a clean stall. The simple life. Is that so much to ask? Maybe. I don't know. Are you a devil? Wait, no! You're an ooze? I've never seen one like that. You've got to be an ooze, right? Hold on, let's check. Yeah, an ooze. It's pretty beefy, too, so we need to be careful. All right. Who could go never first? That I suppose it could be Gel. Again, we've got to watch out. I'll have a look at it again. Slashing wouldn't work out. Lightning, no. Acid. Uh-uh, not happening. Oh, you're going to be a tough one, all right. So what we'll do, we'll keep it simple. Haste on our good buddy over here. Medrahill. Thank you. That'll work. Now, let's get you to move away. Go on, go on. All right. Karlak, you'll move up too. Bring out your axe. After that, I want you to use your rage. Get angry, okay? We'll try to contain it. We don't want other people to die. Especially not our buddy over here. Alright, we'll move over to, let's see. The creature's left, our right. Time to be reckless, as usual. Go on. 11 damage, okay. Attack again. 11 damage, not a lot. So you're done. Edrahill, your turn. Let's bring out your blade. You've got advantage, very good. But for now, use Divine Smite, level two. Time to kill, 17 damage. We're not done yet. A Pommel Strike. Okay, good job. Another Divine Smite, 31 damage, a critical hit. Are we done? No, we've got haste on. Keep on swinging, keep on smiting. Another hit. After that, a level one Divine Smite. It's not dead yet. It's getting close. Only 49 HP left. Okay. One swing. Eight damage. Your turn is over. Yeah, we're all done over here, unfortunately. Don't you do anything. Don't go over there, you idiot. Oh, dear God. 
Okay, good. He's going after Karlak. Whoa! Karlak almost got wiped out in one freaking turn. What? Okay. A tough day for all of us here. Shadowheart, you need to move up too. Attack. Go all in, okay? Acid or no. Keep on attacking. I came here to relax, okay? Screw you, Ooze. You and your crazy thoughts. All right, a potion of greater healing. Perfect. Now, keep on attacking. You've got to. We got it. Yeah, me neither. No more battles, okay? No more. Oh, hold on. Let's go over to Shadowheart. Let's clean up here. Okay, good. It's gone. Never a dull moment. Now, do we have any loot here? Ugh. Just when I think I've seen it all. No kidding. It's dead now. Yeah. One had a fire acuity. Oh, that's really cool. Whenever you deal <sighs> fire damage, you gain arcane acuity for two turns. A cool hat. All right, let's see. Affected entity has a plus one bonus to its spell attack rolls and spell difficulty class per turn remaining. Nice. That could be handy. Let's go back out. And over here, a shapeshifter's boon ring. While shapeshifting or disguising yourself, gain a 1d4 bonus to all checks. Nice. I mean, the imagery was horrific. They essentially pulled an event horizon. Let's get going. If you know, you know. All right. We'll do a long rest in just a little while. And also, you know what I'm going to do. We've got to clean up again. Come on. Perfect. I'm trying to talk to people. I don't want to just come over here and be drenched in blood. Just in case. Come over here and patch up Karlak. Perfect. Let's see. Another one. Don't mind if I do. She's good to go now. All right. Wait, did she mean to go over here to look at the fire? If so, that's pretty cool. I thought it was you. Saving my skin again, I see. Never seen a shapeshifted ox before. But I'm glad you dealt with it before it dealt with us. I'm glad to see you're all right. The way here was anything but easy, eh? Tell me about it. A makeshift Harper's fire might not be where I hope to set up shop. But maybe I've got something you can use anyway. And if you find any interesting materials in need of working, I'm happy to help. Well, thank you. Okay. Now, hold on. Interesting materials. What do you mean? I hesitated to mention this back in the Druid's Grove for obvious reasons, but no one has earned my trust, if not you. When Elturel was dragged into Avernus, I was drafted into a devil's smithy. It should have been awful. But infernal metal is like a wild horse. Powerful, exuberant. It'll kill you if you lack technique. I can sense some. Smell it almost. Somewhere in the area. Underground, maybe. Out there in the shadows. If you find it, bring it to me. I'll make something incredible. That does sound good to me. Sounds like you had an interesting time in the hells. Some of us had it easier than others. The baker, the schoolmaster. When Elturel was swallowed up, they could do little but survive. As for me... I won't say I enjoyed my time there, but it was certainly instructional. You did make the best of it. Also, I think I found a material you could work with. What can you make of it? Here you go. Absolutely. Rare to get your hands on this stuff. Well done keeping it to hand. Back to his job again. Do I get a choice at all? I suppose not. Man, he's quick, right? There you are. And be careful who you show that to. It might draw the wrong kind of attention. Oh, look at that armor. Okay. Blood Held Dusk Armor. 18 AC, not bad. Lesser Infernal Retribution. When you are hit by a foe within 2 meters, it might take 1 to 4 fire damage. Superior Plate. 
You take one less piercing damage. All right. That's pretty cool. Now, I wonder. Perfect. Shadow Heart. You could wear it. Try it out. Not a bad look, I think. I like it a lot. You know what? Keep it. Yeah. You should keep it for sure. Still alive. I'll get some trade progress. goods from him later on. I mean, I usually go back to my camp to pick up all of my loot. I keep one person by the trader, then I send it over. That way, they're able to sell it. It's a lot of loot, too. All right, so now, let's talk to another quartermaster. Only for a moment. They could have more information, or maybe even a quest. Stock up while you can. I only hope I've brought enough to see us through. Me too. Oh, interesting. Anything I could take off your hands at no cost to myself? We'll try, sure. A DC of only 10. Guidance, friends too. 20. It worked out. Cheeky. But, since you're asking... Hey, thank you. Oh, a supply pack. Not nearly as interesting, but, you know, it's fine. Time to go inside, I think. We've got more people to talk to. Right over here. Let's have a look at the map real quick. It's a pretty large area, I think. Mattis. Barkas, too. All right. We'll talk to Jahira. I had to go talk to a few traders and sell a lot of goods, too. We've got some nice new items, and we'll go over that later on. An adorable little chalk sign. I love it. The last light in does not permit the bearing of arms. For the safety of all patrons, please leave your weapons at the door. Wait, hold on. Let's have a look inside real quick. Weapons over here. Over there. Oh, they're everywhere. I'm going to keep mine. Thank you very much. Oh, look who it is. Old Mattis. Let's talk to that kid real quick. Welcome to our humble... Wait, are you Karlak? A lot of us were in Avernus. We saw you fighting. You were so good. Well, I, uh, yeah, I guess I was. I mean, you should avoid fighting for devils if you can. But if you can't, it helps to have a good right hook. I saw you lay out a Moor Demon in two hits. Bam, bam, we were all like, whoa! How'd you learn to fight like that? <laughs> Had to. Life didn't pull any punches. It was up to me to learn to take a hit and deal one back. I've been tossed around a lot too. Uh, I want to learn how to fight back too. From the look of things, you've got your wits about you. A clever mind and a bit of style will take you a long way. Fight with those, and you may find you never need to use your fists at all. In that case, want to buy a lucky ring I found? Ha! Ah, nice try, Shorty. Keep it up, though, and you'll be scamming with the greats in no time. Okay. Kid really looks up to you. That's really nice to see. It is, isn't it? Hope he makes it out of this mess with his wits in one piece. I'd like to see him set up in a proper home in the city. Every kid deserves that. Premium I do agree. Check it out. We've gone legitimate, and Mole put me in charge. What do you need? Legitimate, huh? Okay, hold on. Let's see here. You got any stock for an extra special customer like me? Hmm. I'm not supposed to mention it to anyone. But I do have something pretty special in stock. A key. What does it look like? What does it open? What treasures await behind its lock? That's for one lucky buyer to find out. Maul gave it to me and said I shouldn't let it go to just any old jack a day. Okay. I've got gold back in my camp, but I did spend a lot of gold on me right now on many new items. Now hold on. Let's try to persuade him. If it was worth any coin, do you think Maul would have given it to you? A DC of 14. Wait, hold on. Huh. I'll try Dragonflame Red all this time, and I didn't see that. Awesome. What about the blue? Let's take the red. There we go. All right. Guidance. Friends, too. Advantage. Let's go. A 25. Nice. I mean, maybe. I don't know. 
All right, hold on. We'll use a bit of insight too. With all the other fabulous things you found in this inn, why hold on to a dusty old key here? A very low DC. Nice. 20. Not a nat 20, but a 20. Hmm. I guess it is kind of old. Here. Birds of a feather. Thank you, kiddo. Best that might be right important here. one day. Not right now, but one day. We'll talk to him again later on. Or actually, why later on? Why not now? What are you looking for? It depends here. What do you have? Hold on now. He's actually got some pretty okay stuff. Those shoes I want. How much money? 238? I've got money. And over here, another cloak. When the wearer disengages... Oh, well, we don't really do that too often, do we? No, we don't. Ascending shell. Adorable. I wonder if it actually has some manner of use. <laughs> A fishing rod of alertness. <laughs> That's really funny. All right. Well, I'm going to take that for right now. New boots for me. Nice. Let's get out of here. We're out. Pleasure doing business with you. Thank Don't you, be kiddo. Shy. Have a gander right. at the finest stock. A potion of invisibility. Wait, could I just take it? Are you sure? If so, that's really cool of you, but I don't want your stuff, kid. Let's talk to a scout over here. Don't wander far. Thought you'd be ten yards tall the way Zevlor spoke of you. Ceres, scout. Seems we missed one another at the grove, but the others told me how you helped us. A pity. You pulled them from one death trap only for me to land them in this one. Wait, what happened? We haven't seen Zevlor, that's true. I hope he's not dead. Gone. And more than half the others with him. We were ambushed out in the cursed lands. Cultists of this absolute. Zevlor froze. Begged us to surrender. But... They were toying with us. Making examples. And we'd had enough of taking it. Those of us who cut free just kept running till we found this place. The others... Maybe the cult got them. Maybe the curse. Oh man, all that work too. We did all that work to save all the tieflings and... We've got only a few here, really. Hold on. We've got to be firm. Sure, she feels bad, but think about who we are. Edrahill is always out there fighting for others. So what he would say here as a paladin is, Have you no shame? You were meant to protect these people, yet you ran. Ah, oh, I did. Maybe you'd have been the one to save us, if you'd been there. Or maybe you'd be missing, along with the rest. We don't lose, okay? We never do. Alright, we'll talk to... Wait! Raphael? Oh god! Premium what is he doing over dinner. here? We haven't seen him in a very long time, he's talking to Mole. Okay, there's Barkus Root too, and... <laughs> <laughs> a freaking adorable cat. I love it. You know what? I want to avoid Raphael right now. We'll talk to him later. Who's over here? Oh my god. Plot point after plot point. Forget it. No. I won't go right. I won't go left. I'll come over here. I'll stay in our center room for right now. Right oh, that barn, Alphira. Let's talk to her. Oh, you're all right. Thank goodness. I was worried they got you too. I heard what happened. That people were taken to Moonrise. I keep replaying it. Over and over in my head. They lined us up like dogs. Asherak was with the kids. Telling them it was going to be alright. Maybe that's why they picked him. Told him to kneel. They took his eyes first. Then his tongue. Dear God. Now, how did you survive? Roland of all people saved us. He said he stayed in the grove because of you. I'm damn glad of it. Without him, well, none of us would be here. Roland did? Oh, that's really cool. Yes. He shielded me and the kids while his brother and sister rushed the cultists. Cal and Leah were dragged away, along with the others. 
Roland isn't taking it so well. None of us are, to be honest. How do you do it? How do you keep going? That's a good question. But answer number one is really good, too. Just take it one step at a time. That's all that you're really able to do, right? Think about the here and now. What you're able to accomplish, it's all that you really have. You make it sound so easy. But I'll try. You've done so much for us already. But I have to ask. The others might still be out there. If they're not dead, they're in Moonrise. And gods have mercy on anyone in that hell's pit. Don't worry, I'll get them. We've got two options here from our oath, okay? Let's see, I cannot help. I have far greater evils to conquer, which is true. I do. But we're not going to do that. We're Edrahill. I'll do everything in my power to save them. You have my most solemn vow. Thank you. If anyone can manage it, you can. Just be careful up there, all right? I can't handle anyone else dying. Oh, don't worry. I'll take care of it. Now I really Premium don't feel bad about killing those goblins we met out here. I really don't. So who do we have over to our left? Jahira. We'll talk to her again in just a moment. We've also got more of the kids over here. Roland. Oh, boy. He's going to be sore at me. Let's talk to him now. There's another bottle of Arabellan Dry back there. Put it on the bar, then piss off and leave me alone. Jahira said we should serve drinks, but that we shouldn't serve drunks. Jahira didn't save your ragged little tail from the cultists. I did. Okay, now hold on. I heard your siblings were taken by the cult. They were. And you should have been there to hear their screams when they were dragged away. If you hadn't filled their heads with all that self-righteous heroic crap at the Grove, none of this would have happened. I mean, you did save a lot of people, that's a good thing, but I do understand why he's mad. Then it's my responsibility to bring them back. They're my responsibility. You go save the world. Or your own ass, Or whatever it is you do. I'll fix this. He better not go alone, okay? He shouldn't go alone. I mean, I'll take care of it. You're just drinking, so keep Premium on drinking, okay? Yeah, stay there. Now, what's over here? Anyone there's so many people to talk to. We'll me. never run out. Oh, there's Merkin. This place is awesome! There's so much stuff! Okay, thank you. I saved you from harpies. And now I'm not glad about it. No, no, it's fine. That's curious. A plank, huh? A snowburst ring. When the wearer deals cold damage, they also create a 4.5 meter circle of ice around the target. Whoa. We've got a lot of items where we can make Gel into either a fire wizard or an ice wizard. Cool options. A little note too. The journal script is antiquated, but its pages look like they've barely aged. How much longer must I languish here? I had hoped to be in Baldur's Gate a ten day ago. But that blasted Tohal's keeper won't accept my papers. When Father hears about this, he'll be furious. There's something odd about this village. People skulk around like they have something to hide. The shrines to the Moon Maiden seem ill-tended and barren. I had hoped to learn more about Catherick Thorm, the village's leader. But talk of him seems to put her people on edge. Interesting. Okay. So, Thor, you were always here. Let's circle around. We'll go talk to Raphael in just a moment. I'm not really sure why he's talking to a small child, but we'll find out. Before I do that, or even talk to our friend, Barkus Root, let's talk to the cat. Only because I want to. Hiss! I say hiss! Oh, really now? Time for some intimidation. We're going to hiss back. A DC of 14. We're going to use friends and also guidance. Let's beat it. A 20. Not a nat 20, but a 20. I see. Yes. Perhaps you're right. I'm glad you see it my way. I would like it if we could have a civil discussion. You know, one half elf and one cat. Fine. Now, how did you get here? 
It was quite straightforward. I slinked. You got me there. Have you heard anything interesting around here? Plenty of pointless banging about. The only highlight was when the cleric here promised me a bit of milk that is yet to materialize. My conclusion? She's a liar. <laughs> okay. What's your name? I call myself His Majesty. I love him. Now, would you like to join my camp? I'd rather die. Typical cat. Okay, I'm leaving now. I love it. All right, we'll talk to Barkus. Try to. Barkus, I'm right here, buddy. Ah, you found your way. Good. Thank you. Now, what are you doing here? I thought I'd scout ahead. Check for any nasty surprises. Of which I found a great deal. And what did you find? Shades, death, harpers, flaming fist, and this, of course, and the makings of an alchemist's workbench. Ingredients, too. There's a recipe I'm trying to replicate. Something that might help you. That is, if you're still going to help Wolbrin and the others. Of course I am. In that case, You'll be very pleased to learn what I have in store for you. A new type of smoke powder. All the bang and boom of the original, but with an extra surprise. I call it the Brilliant Retort. You'll need it if you're going to survive this cursed place. You'll need it if you're going to get into Moonrise Towers and help the Deep Gnomes taken prisoner there. You'll need it if you're going to save Wilbrin. He's a great character. I wish he could become some manner of companion. I like him a lot. Now, Wolverine who? No, that would be mean. Tell me, how did the Deep Gnomes get trapped in the towers? They didn't get trapped. They were kidnapped. Taken against their will by those cultists. If I ever get my hands on one of them... Well, with you on the job, perhaps I won't have to find out. I'll do my part according to my talents. And you, I hope, will do yours. The brilliant retort will aid you. Thus, I will make it. Wonderful, okay. Anything I can do to help? Unless you've got access to a 300-year-old Tempusian apothecarial almanac? No. But that's for me to worry about. You, you do whatever it is you do. Some of us are counting on you. Thank you. We'll talk to him again in a little while. Supplies. Now Anyone it's time. Raphael and also Maul. Your move, Maul. You trapped me. I didn't even want to take this one. Kalim Shan rules, dear. The first piece touched is the first piece moved. That's garbage! No matter where the night goes, I'm gonna lose it! Then make the sacrifice useful. Guard your Mistra, or come for my Cyric. What's going on here? Look who made it! For once, I saved your butt out there, didn't I? Where's Square now, Chief? Say, do you play Lance Ball by any chance? It's my first time playing. The keen gleam in Maul's eyes reveals the lie. She knows the game well, and she wants to win. Always oh, laid a fine trap for you, Maul. It looks to me like his Cyric could be dethroned. Okay. I could try to jostle the board, but look, we've not played it. I'm kidding. We're going to agree with Will. Wait, why did I say Will? Gel. Oh my goodness. Look, eventually Will will come join us. Gel's right. Put pressure on him. Attack to pieces in front of his Cyric. See, I saw horns and thought of Will. My, the Thescan double counter gambit. Vicious. <laughs> exactly what I would have done. How 
How's that for Callum Sham rules? Brava. Lovely work. I see I was right to make you the offer I did. You will consider it, won't you? What a lovely specimen she is. A blushing apple begging to be plucked. Please let me smack this creep. The Thescan move suggestion was inspired. I had no idea you played. That's really funny too. So the trick was, follow what Gale said. Andrew Hill doesn't really have a lot of experience playing games. He hasn't had time to play. But it seemed like a pretty good bet. It worked out. Now, hold on here. Is that why you're here? To play games? To play the game. The vast lance board of souls. But don't you worry about Moll. It goes without saying. She still has the unconditional freedom to choose the only option she has left. Besides, I do enjoy being in this neighborhood again. It has such a rich history of abject tragedy. And tragedy, my friend. <laughs> well, there's my bread and bloody butter. Right, okay. So, tell me about the region's history of tragedy. We might as well get some information out of him. Why spoil it? It's all out there waiting to be discovered. You never know what you might find if you just dig a little deeper. Of course. He's such a pain. She won. She has a taste for it now. <laughs> She'll be the one who comes to me. But enough about my lesser pursuits. Why bother with trifles when I'm in the illustrious presence of my very favorite client? Tell me, oh apple of my eye, how have you been? You don't have any gills to get green around yet, but you do look a little worse for wear in this light. Uh-huh, I bet. Now, I'm gonna tell you, right here, Leave me alone, Hellspawn. Or instead, let's be a bit haughty. We know he's going to linger and annoy us, so, you know, I've never been better. Splendid. And yet, I have this picture in my head of you tossing and turning in the middle of the night, thinking strange things, dreaming strange dreams. And there's this little voice inside of you asking, is this my will, or is it the worm's? But you have no answer, and no way of knowing. The good thing is, though, there's only one little voice you really should listen to. Mine. See you soon. I know, I know. Okay, Gel is inspired. Good. It's a lot of extra XP to get over time. Alright everyone, we'll call it for right now. Thank you for watching. Make sure that you do leave a like and comment right down below. Also, tell me what you think of the episode so far. Next time we'll talk to Jahira and also begin our quest line to recruit Halson too. That way we'll have a druid. Alright, until then, 